how to get a thousand subscribers on your gaming channel fast. And no, this thumbnail was not clickbait. Today, I'm gonna to be breaking down and analyzing a gaming channel that went from struggling to over 1,000 subscribers in just five weeks, which is pretty damn impressive when you consider the average is 22 months. In fact, we're actually gonna be talking to Ben here, who is the creator of said channel, and he's gonna be sharing his story and breaking down exactly how he did it into simple steps so you can hopefully take his formula and replicate these kinds of results. So Ben, I'm super excited for this, but first, before we get into the the tactics and your journey do you want to give us a real quick example of what your channel is yes so my channel is called Razorgenics and my niche is ps5 tip, console tips and tricks and rpg tips and tricks now to go from 100 dead subscribers which is good but a, a bit anticlimactic after all the work you've put in to a thousand subscribers in five weeks that's pretty damn cool so for the sake of everyone watching i want to dissect your journey and figure out how you did it in just a moment uh, but first while it's true that your transformation happened quickly it's not like everything just came easy for you right yeah sure so i started my channel in october 2020 i published two videos that flopped hard and floppy after a bad night out i didn't know what i was doing and my videos were really bad so fast forward to may 2021 my all-time favorite game gets a remaster mass effect legendary edition so i thought oh i'll do a walkthrough series i do the walkthrough series it gets like 10 views per video from about 30 videos it didn't feel feel great obviously like no one feels great when a video doesn't do well so i think mm, this isn't working like einstein says insanity is doing the same thing over and over again so i'll try something new uh fast forward to october 2021 and this is right around the cut the time i realized that i was going to buy your gyc course i see this video uh 20 ps5 secrets it has 88 thousand views and the guy has 467 subs at the time. All right, I click on the guy's channel, I watch the video. It's the first video the guy has ever posted. And no word of a lie, I remade that video with my own touch, but more or less taken the styles that he did to replicate that success. And my views started to go up from 200, 500, 800, 1000, and they, they climbed gradually from there. All right, so let's talk about the 1000 subscriber transformation, how you did it. Quickly, for the people watching though, do you think it is possible for anybody with the right mindset and knowledge and dedication, of course, to apply your process and reach 1000 subscribers on their own gaming channel, potentially even in five weeks? Definitely, they could definitely see some substantial growth in five weeks. How much growth is gonna depend on the niche also. But yeah, if you do what I did, you'll grow without, without any shadow of a doubt. All right, let's get stuck into this. What was the first thing you did to start digging yourself out of that rut you'd been stuck into and also the first step you'd recommend our viewers take as well? Right, the single most important thing of YouTube is making cracking content. And I knew that that was not my content. So what I first sought out to improve was my editing, was my video quality. I got a new microphone. I, the first thing that I watched of course was editing and now I use DaVinci Resolve to edit and I use Audacity for the sound. I think there's, I've still got a ways to go, especially all my transitions, but the quality of my videos had a big jump when I learned to edit and that, and it's still kind of gradually improving. Like it is a learning process. I, I don't think I'm done learning, but there's a big, big difference now in quality. The next thing for me was thumbnails. So obviously the thumbnail is what people are gonna see first when they click on their video and it has the biggest impact when it makes an impression more so than the title or, or the description or anything else i'd say so i noticed that my canva thumbnails that i was making pre-course and my photo p thumbnails that i was making post-course canva thumbnail had about five to eight percent my first photo p thumbnail had an 18 percent ctr it did slowly go down to 13% as the views 
increased, but it stayed like a good 5% higher. That's still a very impressive click-through rate at 13%. And it just shows as well that even though sometimes the Canva thumbnails might, or like Canva templates or templates you get online might look pretty, it's not about necessarily what looks pretty, it's about what wins the view. You know, there's psychological triggers that, and ways that you can design your thumbnail in order to like, to really grab people and get them curious that you've done really well on your channel and it shows in the results. Once you've nailed that, what is the next step you recommend to people? The foundation of a YouTube channel is gonna have to be your niche. And literally everything else that we talked about, you know, that, imagine it's like a building, you build that upon the foundation of your niche. And if you don't have a good niche or have no niche, your YouTube is gonna crumble. No! No! You stick to your niche, you figure one out, you research it, you make sure it's a good niche that actually attracts some attention you know, check out other videos, check out Google Trends, check out just Google to see if it's something that will do well. You can test it with a few videos. If they perform poorly, like really, really poorly, even with promotion, it's probably not a good niche. It doesn't have to attract thousands of viewers instantly. In the early days, my videos that reached four-figure views took time to reach four-figure views, but the ones that were unsuccessful got like 10 views. So you can see, what's good and what's not good and you can go from there so i know there are going to be people watching right at this point they're going to be like ben do i really have to have to pick a niche like i'm a variety gamer i don't i don't want to pick a niche like what would you say to those people i would say that i'm a variety gamer and yet i still have a niche you don't have to let your kind of gaming habits limit your youtube or lim or let your youtube limit your habits but you still have to have a niche and you, you won't be successful being a generalized channel. So once you've nailed that, what's the next step you took? I used Google Trends, YouTube, the case study strategy and keyword tool.io to research video ideas that people actually would watch. And I wanted that to be backed up by research and to see if many people had done it already and if they had, was it successful? Could I build upon it so that it wasn't just a, a recreation in some way? Uh, and that, that helps me out. Uh, the next thing for me was, I knew that if I wanted to grow exponentially or the uh, hockey stick growth curve, as I've seen you so eloquently put it, you need to increase the session time. So as you've said before, YouTube's goal is to make money. They make money by people watching videos. If you can get them to watch more videos, they make more money. So it's kind of like a positive feedback loop for you. So for example, at the end of the video, I'll do something like, hey, click this video on the left to see another video picked just for you by the YouTube algorithm. And that seems to work. Or, you know, you can put like arrows there or a graphic or something like that just a CTA and keep it short and snappy before they click off. And that's like just two things that I did to increase the session time. Cool, so what happened, what, what did you do then? What was kind of the next step that helped you in your journey? Planning, planning was a big one actually. I have a huge content calendar and I plan what videos I'm gonna do, what shorts I'm gonna do, and I try and stay at least a week ahead so that there's something always in the bank. So when life gets in the way, you know, you're still posting. I did notice that when I didn't post for one week, my impressions just went. So even with my good CTR and, and everything, you know, the CTR remained the same. It's just that YouTube didn't promote me as much. So staying ahead of the game is, or on the game at the very least, is quite important, you know. I make time for YouTube because I want to be successful and you will have to as well if you want to find YouTube success. You can find time if that's what you want, you know, people find time to play video games, they find time to watch TV, gym buffs find time to go to the gym and if you want to be a YouTuber you're going to find time to do YouTube.
That's really awesome. And for those of you who are watching this now who are dedicated to make it to this part in the video, uh, you're kind of at a fork in the road in your journey. From here, there are two paths forward. The first is that you can take these steps that Ben's graciously shared with us and you can apply them to your own channel and try to try to go through them. But some of you might be wondering not just what Ben did, but actually how he did it. Like how exactly he did it and how did he do it so quickly? Well, as we've kind of talked about, Ben actually joined the four digit challenge, which is currently my flagship YouTube education program right here at the beginning of his transformation as you can see and all the steps we talked about in this video including more that we actually didn't have time to cover are all covered in depth step by step in that program four digit 90 so if that sounds interesting I do want to take a moment to really quickly tell you about it the four digit 90 challenge is my step-by-step -step system to help gaming youtubers reach a thousand loyal subscribers in 90 days so you can get your gaming channel to the point where your videos are regularly hitting thousands of views and where you actually have a loyal community to post to and the great thing about it is that you can implement this process regardless of what types of videos you post regardless of what stage you're at regardless of whether you're a beginner or not and regardless of whether or not you have a crap ton of free time. So obviously it does take work and effort, but Ben, for example, I think when you came into this, you were almost like practically a complete beginner when it comes to these kinds of things. Uh, you were working full time and you still managed to learn and implement everything quite successfully, correct? Yeah, uh, with work and travel, I probably do like 55 to 60 hours. So I think maybe I do 15 to 20 hours of YouTube evenings and weekends. And it, it, the channel, the course works. And Marcus isn't paying me to say this. I cannot <laughs> overstate the value that the course brought me. So inside the challenge, you're gonna get almost daily video lessons. And each one is going to teach you a specific strategy or technique for that day. Once you've consumed your video lessons for the day, you're gonna be given a take action checklist, which is gonna help you implement all the things you just learned. Also, throughout the challenge, you're gonna have access to a private group full of small gaming YouTubers who are awesome, just like Ben, who you can network with and befriend and collaborate with and do all kinds of awesome stuff. And this kind of trifecta of like knowledge, execution and accountability is a thing that I think helps take gaming channels like Ben's really to that next level. Like imagine becoming a YouTuber with a loyal community of subscribers. Imagine being able to positively impact and connect with thousands of people and imagine being able to actually get paid for doing something you love. It's pretty awesome. And I think oh, Ben- yeah. There's something I want to add actually. Go for it. Um, 100 US dollars or whatever the price was. I've already made that back in ad revenue already. That's mental. That's so awesome, man. So for those of you who are interested in the four digit challenge at the moment, I'm actually going to be throwing in a bunch of bonuses completely free if you guys do want to sign up. So firstly, I'm going to be throwing in the Grow Your Gaming Channel course. This is actually the course that Ben went through right at the beginning of his journey when he was trying to level up his thumbnail and video editing game. And basically, even if you're a complete beginner, it's gonna teach you all the technical skills you need. So like recording your footage, editing your videos, creating custom thumbnails, all that kind of thing. It's pretty cool. And the other bonus I'm gonna be giving you is 12 month exclusive access to Grow Your Gaming Channel support, which is basically a service where you'll get a personal email address that you can contact me or my team with privately with any of your YouTube related questions and we can help you out. Last but not least, I'm also gonna be throwing in my full-time creator blueprint masterclass, which is an in-depth video lecture where I'm gonna be laying out like a rough roadmap of once you hit the thousand subscribers, how can you go beyond that and potentially even turn your channel into a full-time stream of income. So when you do join the four digit challenge, not only will you be getting access to all the video trainings and the checklists and the awesome FD90 community, but you'll also be getting the Grow Your Gaming Channel course, a one year subscription to GYGC support and the full-time creator blueprint masterclass all completely free. So if any of this sounds like something you might be interested in, you can click on the link down below this video and join the four digit challenge. Go down below in the description. I'm really proud of this product. I think it's awesome, but don't just take it from me. Ben, what do you think? I honestly could not recommend it enough. Uh, I'm still doing it and I'm already at the thousand subs. So yeah, it helped me out tremendously. And it, it came coupled with the GYGC course, more stuff for less money, like here you go, Master Alien friend, take my money. 
Ben, I'm going to have to stop you there because people are not going to believe me. They're going to think that I'm paying you. But seriously, for those of you who are interested in joining the four digit challenge or just learning a bit more about it, you can go down below. There's a link. It'll take you to a landing page. And on that landing page, if you decide to, you'll be able to sign up and get access to all of the four digit 90 challenge content that covers all of the stuff we went over in this video and more in depth. And you'll also get all of those bonuses for free. So Ben, thank you so much for your time today. We really appreciate it. I hope to see you in our four digit 90 challenge community very soon.